Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about another data resource and how powerful data resource that things we are going to discuss in our today's session. So if you see that we have uh, created this button called button, right? So we are going to rename that to uh, call that resolve. So we'll just uh, change this button text to resolve first. And if we go to this uh, lookup high incident, right? So this is the condition we have applied. Now we need a higher number of incidents. So we'll update this uh, data uh, resources to um, instead of high, we want to bring all. So we'll just remove this condition, priority condition. So active is true, apply. And right now you can see that its condition is one. And we'll just you can see that the result is 40 right now. And then let me save that. So what will be happen? We will uh, change this button name called resolve and there will be 40 incident right now. Instead of a uh, uh, few incident, we want to uh, show 40 incident. So instead of four. So let's refresh that. Now after changing that, you can see that these bubbles are showing like it have a pagination features and you can see all are showing right now properly. Now, once we click that, this resolve button, we want to show a confirmation button or confirmation like, do you want to resolve this? If we click yes, we want to resolve this incident. That's our goal today. So what we want again, uh, let's talk about that. We have uh, this card and then once somebody click this resolve button, we'll show a confirmation message like, do you want to really resolve with the incident number? And once somebody click that, we are going to resolve that particular incident. So let's do that. For that, what we'll do, we'll go back to this uh, model uh, here. We'll remove this model, we'll delete this model, and then we'll create a new model. We'll click that, and then we'll, uh, you know, uh, click this confirm uh, model. So you can see that uh, it's created the confirm model, and it have a header and footer. Everything is there. We need to be update that here call um, these things. So we'll put that call model header should be like uh, we'll say so in the content body we want to populate the incident information how we can put or how we can populate the incident information to populate the incident information if you recall that we are actually using this client state method uh, like here lookup records using that we are actually based on this client state record. We are fetching this incident number and short description and state that we are printing here, right? So same thing we are going to do here in our this case. So we'll go here and then in this body, we'll say that we'll go to this dynamic method and then we'll get the data resource. Uh, let's see that we are able to pull this incident information or not. So we'll pull the lookup incident record. We'll say the result and then we'll say number this we want to add as well as we want to uh, do something right so we'll do a formula and then we'll add the concat method the first thing is that and apply that so what will be happen in the body will populate uh, some information call is in close so this thing should be updated so let's update that we'll delete that again and go to this data type we'll get from this lookup record result number and then we'll double click apply and here is it will be looks like that incident is in close is depending on that which state it is will be visible there so we want to put some space extra space so we'll put that space and apply so this will be our um, latest data okay so let's see if we click yes what will be happen it should delete 
something or you should resolve that incident okay so let's go back here and then we, if we refresh that and let's see uh, first it is uh, showing properly or not so this is our incident and if we click that resolve button right now so nothing is happening if you recall that uh, in this button we are calling that previously a model that model we have deleted so we'll go to uh, this event and then this model we actually deleted so we'll change this model to the new model that we have uh, defined here so we'll delete and then add and then here we will define that or we will select this confirm one and add and save so previous model we have deleted and we have added a new model now let's go back to our um, this workspace now if we click that resolve button it is showing that this incident is in new so do you want to resolve so if we click yes it should resolve the incident so let's go back to the this one so this is in in progress state if we click yes it should resolve that so this that is our end goal so let's put some more text there so we'll put some short description to into this um there so we'll go what you want once we click that um, yes it should update or it, sh it should um, you know resolve that incident that is our goal that is our end goal to resolve this or to update this case how we can do that let's finalize that so if we click that if we just refresh that this is our um, workspace and let's say I'm clicking this incident so it is showing that this incident is in, in progress uh, with that short description once we click yes uh, it should resolve that incident okay how can we do that to do that we will go to this event here um, so we'll go to this event section and then we'll map that okay so what is the map so when so if you see this configuration we have a two button one is a primary button another is a secondary button primary button is yes secondary button is cancel so once some primary button is clicked what do you want so we can define that so we'll click that add event mapping we say that primary button is clicked what do we want once the primary button is clicked we want to update the status of the incident right so that is what we are expecting to do that we'll go and then create a data uh, resource we'll go and then click this data resource we have a option called update record uh, here you can see that we'll select that data resource and then click add if you see that this data resource this data resource or update record cannot be run alone this should be called from somewhere that's the reason you can see when this is going to be evaluated when somebody is getting called so when someone call that that time this will be run that's what it is saying right now we'll cross this one okay so we just added this update record if you see that again if i open this update record only when invoke it's showing but if we open that our lookup record it's saying that immediately we have another option called only it is invoked so by default it's immediately but update record or update data resource is cannot be run immediately it should be it should be called from somewhere else so we just added that update record options now we'll go back to this confirm again and then click add in event handler or we'll just delete that again maybe for showing purpose i'll click that add event mapping we'll select the primary button click so whenever primary button is clicked we want to call this update record option so we'll go and then you will be able to find out call update record so this update record one we want to run okay which table we want to one run we want to run that incident table you know so we'll select the incident table now what record we want to run we know what is the record the record should be dynamically the client state so we'll go and then client state model record this should be updated we'll apply that and then what should be the value the value we can define here the value should be the result right so we'll put that state
So we'll select that state is resolved. Now, if you recall that here, once we are changing this state to resolve, there is a um, resolution code and resolution notes. Both fields are mandatory. We need to define that resolution code and resolution notes. So if I change this state to um, resolve, uh, you will be probably see there is a resolution code uh, and resolution note. These two are mandatory. We also need to define here. So let's put that here. So if you see that what we did that uh, under this update uh, method, we are saying that this will be called and then update the value as a state equal to resolve with the resolution code and resolution notes. That's what we are saying that incident table with the record of this uh, state and then that's it. So let's add and save that. So if you see that in this uh, workspace, if I open any of this incident, let's say that uh, 0 to 0. So this incident I'm opening. Okay, so this is the 0 to 0. And if I go back here under this home screen, and if I click resolve, the pop up is coming with the 0 to 0 incident number of the state and then short description. If I click yes, the pop up is immediately uh, disappear. And if you see there is a blue bar is showing in the top, it means that something is happening. If I go back here, it's showing that it's resolved, but the pop up got, uh, uh, you know, disappeared. Uh, but it is not removed from this home screen and then page did not reload properly to make more realistic what we can do that we can simply go to this our uh, UI builder and then here under this uh, you know um, this uh, pop-up confirm pop-up we already added that execute uh, update record as well as what you can do that we can click this add event handler and there is a one thing called uh, we have a set loading state and we can set that loading equal to true. So it means that whenever if I will just add it, so it's added. So what will be happen whenever this resolve button will be pop up and then if I click yes, the screen will be showing like loading, loading, loading. Okay. So it will be screen will be continuously set that loading, loading, loading. Then what else we want after this loading, loading. So if I go back to this update under this data resource, if I scroll up a little bit under this data resource, you have an update record. We have created this record called update record one. Here also have an event. We can map the event. What is the event? So you can click that add and then it we can say that operation success. So let's say that once our incident got resolved, we want to do certain things. What do we want? We want to do that result, I mean that, uh, that uh, loader, whatever this loader is going to run, that we want to turn off. So we'll just turn off that loader. So initially, whenever I'm clicking this button, yes, the loader will be started. After successfully uh, update the record, the loading loader will be ended. What else we need? We need to refresh this screen. So to do that, we have a uh, two uh, more uh, data resource like lookup high incident record and the lookup incident record these two are basically responsible to fetch the incident state and then all the incident so we will refresh that so we'll select that um, lookup incident record refresh this as an event as well as we'll select that here we'll click add event and then we'll select that high lookup incident needs to be refreshed so these two three things has to be done from this update um here from update record what we are doing we are setting the loader to be turned off we are refreshing the data resources of this lookup incident and then we are refreshing the lookup um of this uh, um incident record so let's understand one more time so if we click yes the loader will be started and then from that update record uh, data resources it will be actually update the incident our incident after our incident is updated, what will be happen? Uh, once it is successfully success, our loader will be uh, finished and then uh, loader will be finished and then we are going to update these two, uh, these two um, lookup record refresh. So let's save these changes and let's see whatever we are expecting is working or not. So let's say that I'm opening that uh, incident number 0029. So in this 0029, if I go back to this home screen, we click resolve and then click yes, you can see the loader is started and then 29 got finished 
and then 29 incident got resolved. So this is how the loader actually works. Your screen got refreshed and everything works. That's it for today. If you have any question, let me know in my comment section. Thank you very much. Have a great day.